tell me about your fantasy wedding. What would it be? You want something big and fancy? Or small and intimate? <laughs> She was in danger. Have you heard of a crime figure known as the Balkan? Is that who's threatening Brenda? Interpol thinks so. When was the first attack? The night of August 11th. Brenda was a presenter at an awards ceremony. A man backstage tried to slash her face. We realized later he wasn't a fan. He was working for the Balkan. The same with the two men who tried to drag her into a van a couple of nights later. And then most recently, two thugs got into her dressing room, held a knife to her throat, and dragged her out. Thank God for the paparazzi. I'm sure you're questioning the efficacy of our security force. Now, Brenda ignores security. She's almost impossible to protect. You know, you and I have a lot in common. I think this could be the start of a very productive friendship. You admitted that you, you, you feel something for me, so strong, that you went to your superiors and told them that you couldn't do the job, right? I made an ethical choice. And as far as the reassignment, I had to apply. Do you wanna, it would look bad if I Do you want to be reassigned? No. I want to stay in get to know you a little better. Well, that's what I want, too. That's why I'm trying to give you the earrings, because, you know, because I like you. I think, I think you know, you're interesting. You're more beautiful than you realize, and you made a choice in your career so we could be free together to see what happens, right? And the greatest thing is you're not breaking the law. So why are you, you fighting against something that you really want because I don't know what the rules are between us I mean I'm not using you anymore but I have a feeling you're still using me and no, it, would, it would hurt and hurt and I feel pretty ridiculous and wouldn't be good nobody's hurt no look I'm not nobody's using anybody anymore well I'm not so sure well, it's a lot easier for you to have a federal prosecutor on your side than, than for me to be involved with a gangster. Well, that's true. Nothing I can change about that. But whatever happens from here on in, it has nothing to do with your career or mine. Okay? I don't, I don't know where it's going to end up. Maybe, maybe nowhere, but I can, I can honestly tell you I am not using you because I like you. I like you a lot. And if you feel the same way about me, then I'll see it, it, it doesn't have to be so difficult. Will you at least have dinner with me tonight? Only if you take back those earrings. Okay. We got a deal. It doesn't matter if I like Brenda or not. She's in danger. I'm not going to let anything happen to her. 
That's a generous attitude. Or do you just have a savior complex? Brenda means a lot to some people who are close to me. I assume you mean people back in Port Charles. Brenda has a gift for inspiring people to care about her no matter where she is. I don't need to care about her. I just need to make sure she's safe so I can go home. Well, if that's true, you're the exception to the rule. Most men find Brenda compelling and almost impossible to leave. Very good energy. Very good energy. I like it a lot. You're a woman all men dream of. It's up to you. Well, why is this happening? Do you have a coat? Where are you taking me? Anywhere you want. I want to get married. I want you to take me to Sunny. Anywhere but that. Why? Forget it. I'll find it myself. You won't find him. Why not? I am so sick of your stone face. Do you know that? Obviously, he sent you here. So why did he send you here? I get it, Jason. I'm not going to sit here and conduct my relationship with Sonny through you. Brenda. Sure you okay? Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna, can I just have a minute? Of course. I'm just gonna take a minute. Go to your time, Shay. Okay.